Hello everyone. Welcome to PO Academy Cryptocurrency Program. Introduction to cryptocurrency. So today we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency, blockchain, wallet, all you need to know about cryptocurrency for beginner. So have you been hearing about cryptocurrency? blockchain all the abracadabra ups and going ups and down in the crypto space don't worry we are going to break everything down for you today to understand so about the tutor my name is prince ola and i am from ogun state abekuta in ogun state here in nigeria so I would not like to call myself a pro professional trader, but I can boldly say I am a profitable trader. I make use of technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and uh, psychological analysis to put myself in the right direction of the market. So those are the tools that I'm making use of to make sure that I'm always in a profit. So what's and uh, okay, so let's go on. So introduction to cryptocurrency, what is cryptocurrency? When you first hear cryptocurrency, how do you feel? What do you feel? Like, what do you think? What first comes to your mind? For me, when I first heard about cryptocurrency, what comes to my mind was, Crypto, I don't know what crypto is, but I know what currency is. So I just know it's about money, 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 money. So, but what the crypto is all about is what I don't know. Then that led me to do more research. That is the reason why I made more research. It's the crypto, I want to know what it's all about. Then the more I dig in, the more complex it gets, it's becoming. But thank God today, I'm able to break everything down. So a cryptocurrency is a digital asset that use cryptography for security. Because of these features, cryptocurrency cannot be imitated or it's difficult to imitate or counterfeit. So what this means is that once a coin is already created, it will be difficult for some other people or set of people to say they want to create the same cryptocurrency again, like Bitcoin now, you cannot have two Bitcoin. You can only have one that look like it, like uh, Bitcoin, we have Bitcoin and we have Bitcoin Cash. So they are not the same. So to securely store your cryptocurrency, you don't need banks or government. You don't even, you don't even need your friend, you don't need me. All you need is your wallet, your personal wallet. So we have different type of wallet also. And what is wallet? A wallet is where you store your cryptocurrency and also where you can send and receive payments in cryptocurrency. So Nigeria bank is not allowing you to save money or they say they don't need you. You don't need them also, trust me. All you need is your wallet. Your cryptocurrency can be sent to anybody all over the world. So far, they have access to internet and also accept your coin. So you can send it to them, your coin or token. Yes, let me see token too. So we have different type of wallets. We have desktop wallets. This type of wallets are the wallet applic uh, desktop application where you can store your cryptocurrency on and uh, receive also so with this desktop wallet if you create a, an application if you create a wallet using a desktop wallet the private key will be fold like a zip code or and uh, or a file and be uh, it will ask you to download the file on your system so you see that you, you make sure you have to make sure that you write this down if you have a private key, if the wallet show you a private key or ask you to print it out. So you must make sure you do this in order not to lose access to the 
wallet and also we have mobile wallet mobile wallet is just like application like a facebook and other application that we use oh my god what is okay sorry please okay so wallet mobile wallet is like application like facebook and the other application that we have on our mobile phone so this also have its own private key anytime you wanted to use it it asks you to you you will have to anytime you want to you log out i want to log in back to the wallet you need your private key to gain access to the wallet also and um you should also make sure that you keep the private key or passphrase or any key they give you. You need to keep it very well. I'm still going to show us what private key is. We do some practical here. Paper wallet is like uh, you don't you can that you I think there are some websites that you just need to go to. You are not creating or downloading or doing anything. You just once you get into it, you refresh the page. The page give you private key and uh, the wallet address so the wallet address is where you are going to send your coin into so once you send the coin into it it will show you the private key and the wallet address so what you the reason why we call this private where paper wallet is that it will require you to either screenshot it or print it out from the website so when you print it out, you have the paper with you, the paper, the printed paper with you. So that we have your private key. So that is why we call it paper wallet. But this paper also can be lost or something. So you just need to make sure you find your way to secure. There's a way we secure our certificates. So you need to know how to secure this also because it's have your money in it. So we can use this hardware wallet and uh, offline device that can be integrated into the internet when needed. So this doesn't need an internet. You just store your wallet on your coin on it, then you go on your own way. You keep it, it's like a device. So it doesn't need internet, except when you want to use it. That's when you connect it to the internet. This is the most secure one. It is the most secure way of keeping your coin. Though they sell this device and there are so many of them, different type of them out there. We will still get there. Online wallet is a website wallet. So this like um, all these www dots, so that kind of wallet. I will not recommend this for a newbie because because of one or two things, you know, Aka can trace us, they can request for, they can hack you through your email and a password and all that. So let us just try something. Let us try something. Let me try to, um, what am I going to do? Okay. I'm not trying to, where is this thing? Is this the website? Okay. Yeah. So I'll, now let us try to, actually this is a website wallet and this is Solana, this is a web a wallet for Solana. So we this can be this is it's almost almost the same way. If you want to create like you will have your private key you and you need to keep your private key. So that's all. Once you keep your private key safe, don't give it to your wife or your husband. If you want to, you can give it to them. I don't want to cost Wala. So just make sure you keep it safe. Make sure you keep it safe. It is very, very confidential so once they have access to it they can go into the wallet and transfer coin out of it and then look at this solet.io so this is a solana blockchain wallet i want to create one for as an example for us so look at this so here is my seed word so this is the private key of this wallet for this i have to copy it and then save it somewhere let me save it okay let me just open this tab i don't know if you are seeing that but i'm saving it on my notepad so that i will not forget that so now once i keep this this is my this, anytime i want to access this wallet this is what i'm going to use and then 
you click your private key are the only store are only stored on your current computer or device you will need those words to restore your wallet if your browser storage is clear or your device is damaged or lost so you know you, you see this now so you have to write this down please write down the following 12 words sometimes it can be 24 it can be more than this or something so sometimes it will even be alphanumeric it will not be a split word like this it can be alphanumeric when it is alphanumeric i will suggest you copy and paste it somewhere don't try to write it down copy and paste it somewhere but if if it's a word like word like uh, words like this so you can just write those down on your journal or your jota somewhere save copy and save somewhere you should know how to we are another so you should know how to save that so then after you have done that then come here i have saved okay i have saved those word in a safe place then you continue so now they are asking for password what password should they use okay so we are posting password this is why um okay create wallet if you forget your password you will need to restore your wallet using the same word so you can see this now so if if your password doesn't mean that you can access this wallet with it if you lost if you forget the password and if you go on another browser, you cannot use this password to enter this wallet again. You cannot use it to enter this wallet again. So you should make sure you keep your private key very well. It is important, those words that you see there before this page. So now I'm creating the wallet and this is my wallet now. This is my wallet, no, don't save it. So this is my wallet, this is my, private, uh, my wallet address. Uh -oh, okay, I can send with this. So I just put your uh, your wallet address here, the amount of coin I want to send to you, then I will click on send. So that's how to send to receive. I'll just click on this, then I will copy this, then send to you, then you send coin to me. Once you send the coin, it will reflect in my account here. So that's, that's just it. And in case you just forget to copy the wallet address, so you can click on this side. So this thing goes, in line with almost how the wallet, how almost almost all the wallet works, almost how all the wallet works. So you can click on here, then the private key you want it to reveal. What is this? Hey, I don't understand. It. Okay, but let's just say this is the private key. So instead of the walls, so I'm saying private key here. Yeah? So you can export this private key, this wallet with this private key. Remember I told you about the alphanumeric the other time. So instead of alphanumeric, we are having figures in uh, Solana. So this was, this uh, numbers, you can never find it anywhere else. You are the only person that have it. So if you don't save it, nowhere else you can get it back. That is just it. So this, is it that you have this private key or you have the words that I asked you guys to write down the other time? Is that you have any of the two so that is how you can secure this wallet so if you are new to cryptocurrency your private key is the most important thing in anything you are doing your private key your password you should secure them your email you should secure those things very very well they are important to you so let's go back so we are done with the so now going back to the So now what is, uh, okay, online wallet. So all these, I, I, I don't have a drive. I've not used hard drive before, so I don't know how that one work. I've not used hard drive before, I don't know how it works. I heard that from one recently, but I'm yet to see it. So once I get that, maybe we'll do another special video for that. But this desktop, mobile, paper wallet, and this, they all works almost the same way. So you just get into the platform, get your private key out of the wallet you are okay you can send coin to it and withdraw coin so now going to the next page what is blockchain and its usefulness you see all these wallets cryptocurrency they are built somewhere and what they are on what where they are built on is called blockchain so they are running on blockchain blockchain is a digital ledger that publicly record all transactions in a consecutive secure, permanent, 
an ever expanding chain, chain of cryptography arch link blocks. So blockchain has, poten has potential to revol revolutionize the way companies, university, and other organizations conduct business and financial transactions. Blockchain is considered to be one of the greatest innovation, uh, invention, sorry, invention of the digital age, second only to the invention of the internet. What this means is that, okay, let's say, let's use university, for example. When we make payments in the university or our Nigeria university, especially, they give us receipts when we pass exam, when we write exam, they give us results, paper all the time. They, give, they keep giving us paper, uh, paper or put it on the website, ask us to go and download it there or print it out from there. At the end of the day, let's say the school is now, now gets one of the students angry, angry and then the student was an ACA, is an ACA. Then he gets on the website, delete all the files. Everything is gone like that. Then the school will start finding a way to recover or something. Sometimes they store data or something. So this way, this kind of ways is a bad, or probably the school will just keep printing, printing and keeping files in one company or one office or something. This is a bad way of keeping data, keeping record, something that we want to last, we want it to last forever. Then we keeping it in a centralized way. It is a bad way of keeping files, keeping documents. So using blockchain, one can, using blockchain, blockchain to store those files, it will last forever. And when I say forever, you cannot delete it. You cannot hack it. You cannot attack the program. It will be there forever. So, that is what blockchain is all about. So, and that's why we use cryptocurrency on it. Cryptocurrency is just one of those things that blockchain can that can be run on blockchain. Blockchain can do so many things. Game can be run on it. Files, storing data, elections, anything can be run on. Almost anything can be run on blockchain. And once they are, once they get on blockchain, they are permanently, they are, they will be there permanently and then they are ever expanding chain of cryptography uh, uh, cryptography arch linked blocks means till eternity they can be there so far people still working on the blockchain people still using it why we keep storing on it so that is blockchain that's what blockchain is and the reason why we use it for blockchain for cryptocurrencies is because you know cryptocurrency is a digital asset so for those digital asset transactions to be storing on somewhere, cryptocurrency uh, blockchain is needed. We don't cryptocurrency cannot just be like a bank where you, when the money you send a uh, file of the money you sent maybe three to five years ago cannot be found easily. No, on cryptocurrency on blockchain, aside cryptocurrency about 2016 or so, all the transactions I have done since then. If I need them now, I can easily just type a few words and I will get those, doc, those information out. But if it is bank, all the transactions I've done with banks, I will still need to, maybe they, maybe they will have to come back next week or a few months after or so. And I believe if I get there again, when they mention, they will still ask me to come back again. Crypto blockchain is not like that. Or probably they will have even delete or lost my data and all that. So, Blockchain is not like that. That's why we use blockchain. And that is what blockchain is also meant for. You cannot cheat it. You cannot delete file. Once file is stored on it, you cannot delete it. So digital ledger, a record digital, uh, a recorded digital file, publicly record, publicly record all transaction. Each financial transa transaction is publicly record, recorded and feasible to everyone which make the whole process transparent, trustworthy and reliable. So you can see what I'm saying. So even if the one you have with you, you don't have access to it again, someone, somewhere, we still have access to it and everybody can verify it. That means if we use blockchain for an election, there's nothing like manipulation. So consecutive, the transaction 
are recorded in historical order with interruption with interruption i think oh, the historical order without without i think i mean without interruption here yeah, not with interruption so without interruption yeah so that's it secure they are securely stored permanent permanent once they are recorded they cannot be changed or deleted ever expanded chain form forming a connection a connected chain of transaction that continue to grow and expand cryptography a highly soph highly soph sophisticated sophisticated mathematical problem solving method to hide secure and lock the information containing it hash link block block of file linked to each other by highly advanced uh, advanced algorithm hash link so that is for blockchain and then oh live video oh live tutorial i mean so understand coin market cap oh this part i really like this part how to fundamentally know good cryptocurrency let us start from here understanding coin market cap and coin gecko the reason why i added this to this platform is that after you have no cryptocurrency you know what wallet is you know what uh, blockchain is also all about what else do you need to know what else remain you need to know how to spot or how to do research on your cryptocurrency the cryptocurrency you want to do you want to start investing your money into or that you want to collect from people in uh, 2017 i invested money in one platform and then after a few days after a few weeks let me say a few weeks the guy told me that the coin uh, the money i invested he couldn't get access to it again something happened blah blah so instead of me getting my money back he will be giving me a coin called tbc i was blind i don't know what is going on all i know is that tbc he tried he explained to us what tbc is all about how we can invest into it and all that so he explained somehow somehow so i was like okay since tbc is also growing oh yeah give it to me so the guy is owing me about 40 something thousand naira. then the guy gave me some tbc and the coin was going up i was so happy the coin is going up and i was like oh i'm going to have made it already in my life so at the end of the day i realized that tbc is worthless it doesn't have any value at all it doesn't have any value so i did not know this earlier and the reason why is that i don't know how to use coin market cap and uh, coin gecko also so that is the reason why as much i know how to use this i will have say okay i should come here and do research on my own so how can we use coin market cap what is coin market cap used for and so coin market cap consists coin market cap and coin gecko works the same way we should know this they work the same way just that i think coin market cap is the first to launch before coin calculator come around to so i use both i use both of them but i prefer coin gecko more coin gecko.com look at it up here coin gecko.com so i prefer coin gecko more but let us start from coin market cap.com coin market cap.com so you can write it down so on coin market cap is coin market cap is here we have all the coin in the whole world like all the coin as most of them not all of them most of them we have the, the we have them here and their information you can see we have a bunch list of coin coins i mean i'm talking on this platform so these are the if you can see you can see you can see them so we have the same thing on coin gecko also so now what is the use of this thing you know having information about those coins then we can decide which one is better to invest into and which one worth investing into then before we go deep into that all the cryptocurrency we have on this platform not all of the coin in the world some of them are not on this platform but some they are still willing to come on this platform any coin that is not on this platform me as a person i don't invest into it some people are investing into them and making money, but me as a person, I'm not investing into them. So 
it is my own way of one of my own psychology aspects. So I don't even. So now it doesn't mean they don't want it. So now we have presently we have 8,408 8, cryptocurrency on this platform. I'm looking at that up here. The market and the market we can trade them. Okay, is this? I think this have to do with peers. So the market we have thirty three thousand four hundred and four markets on this platform also. Then market capital, market capitalization, all the money in cryptocurrency as all the money invested into all this, it's eight for eight thousand four hundred cryptocurrency. So all the money invested in them is this you are looking at here. This is one billion, I guess. I'm not really good at mathematics. So one billion, yes. So one billion. And then volume today means people have spent all this money in the last 24 hours, since last 24 hours till now. So people have spent all this money. And Bitcoin dominance is 61 point, 61.2% means uh, people that as in point, the way people are getting into cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin especially. So it's this that you are looking at. So the percentage is this that you are looking at here. So this have a chart that you can you know, you can read the chart, how it's going up and down. So what else, what else? When someone, okay, when somebody tell you that Bitcoin, the coin is going up, it's really doing well, how do you feel? Where can you do research about it? How can you know? You, do you just go to Google and type, type Bitcoin? That would be a bit stressful for you. For crypto enthusiasts like us, you just come on this platform and then type cryptocurrency, type uh, Bitcoin up here. I don't know what happened with this thing. Okay. On this search, at this search area, so you type Bitcoin. I'm using Bitcoin as an example. So it doesn't mean that. Or let's say Solana. Someone mentioned Solana for you. I'm not, this is not an investment. Oh, what's that? This is not an investment uh, advice, it's just for educational purpose. So let's say someone mentioned Solana for you. So after you were like, what is Solana? What is this coin all about? Then you just click on Solana, you type Solana and then it will bring a drop down for you. So you just click on it. Then now let us do research about Solana. Like, ah, so depends tell you Solana is really good. What is this Solana all about? You can check on their website, you just, Left click, I, you can just check here the rank on the coin market cap. Is it a coin or token? There is a coin. So then people that whitelist it, uh, watch list it, I mean 34,500 something. So you, on the website, if you want to read about them, what this project is all about, we all know that Bitcoin is the first coin. Then what is Solana all about? You can just right click on the website. So you open that later, Explorer. Explorer is where you check. Remember I told you about blockchain. You can use you can, any transaction done on blockchain. You can make use of it later. You can research it again within a few seconds. Those you have done in the past 10 years, you can quickly get them without leaving your house. Unlike banks that you, they will see actually to come back tomorrow, come back next week, and they will keep posting you. With Explorer, you can easily get your transaction list transaction you have just do now now or so you can get the results you can get the one you have done in a few years ago you can get that one also so the community maybe you want to join their group you want to join their platform twitter reddit if they are on facebook or anywhere else you can join with all this also um chat i don't know what is there okay discord and group so you can join that you can join their telegram and discord also using this the white paper if you want to read more if this website is not enough for you to learn about the project so you can just if the website is not enough for you to learn about the projects the ecosystem and other so you can just go to the um white paper so this is a document that you need to download to read more about the platform so the token the price this is the price the market cap, the whole money the, uh, that is locked into this project is this you are looking at here, 1 billion, 1.7 billion, fully diluted, 24 hours volume, 24 hours volume, okay. 
a measure of how much of cryptocurrency was traded in the last 24 hours. So this is how much money people have put into the projects, traded in the projects in the last 24 hours. Circulating supply. So this is the mass supply and the total supply is this. So the circulating supply is the coin that we have in the in people's hand that are tradable. So that is circulating supply. Mass supply is the total you know, total figures of coin that you can ever see. Total figure of this Solana coin that you can ever see. Total supply is also the total amount of the coin that are available presently, but it doesn't mean that they are unlocked. So total and mass supply is the total supply, total coin that can ever be exist, uh, that can ever exist. So those are the mass supply, that is what mass supply. And we think we have something there. Okay, a mass of a mass, a mass more amount of coin that we ever exist in the lifetime of cryptocurrency. It is analog, analog, analogous, okay, analogous to the fully diluted share in the stock market. If these data have not been submitted by the project or verified by CMC team, mass supply team. So, okay, uh, so that is it. And the, this is also what I call it the total number of coin that are available. Well, it doesn't mean that they are unlocked, but the circulating supply is the coin that are available. So even if you want to buy the whole market, if you find people that if you can get people that are holding this coin, so you can buy from them. But all this you are seeing here, if situation doesn't require for it, the project will not release it. They are probably locked somewhere. So if you want to know the exchange it's trading on, then you just come to here, yeah, market here. Yeah. So you come to market, you get the exchange is traded on. So you can see Binance OKS. So you can see the different price, the peers, and the volumes, the volumes. So the percentage of the liquidity, I, so all those ones. So historical data, historical data is the price that have the yesterday price, the for yesterday price, and all that, the volume also. So that is historical data. News, 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 news about the project. So this is where you can find it. If there's anything new about the project, or maybe someone told you that the coin is going to, is, it will go up, then you're like, what is this person see? So you don't want to ask the person. You know, maybe you are just online and someone said the coin will go up. Then you are like, what is what will make it go up? But you don't want to ask the person, you want to do research on your own. So you can just come here to see if, there's, if, they, if they have updated, you will find it here. If they have not, you can just go to their group to ask question. What is going on with this project? Any news? So you can go and check there. So that is, uh, if you want to do fundamental analysis. So all these things we are talking about, with the still about fundamental. You checking coin market cap for information about coin is also fundamental. It have to do with fundamental analysis also. Social, I don't know what this is, but let me check. Okay, nothing there. Oh, there's something. Okay, it have to do with Reddit and uh, information also. So information about the project, people, what people are saying about it and all that. So that's what social is. Rating, 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 rating. Fundamental crew. Okay. I don't really understand this part. I don't always check this part when it comes to uh checking analysis or checking cryptocurrency stuff. So analysis, there's nothing there also. Okay. There's nothing there also. So overview. If you want to know, okay, I think I've talked I've talked about this before about the project oh no this talk about price alone not about the project but this is where the project something like brief information about the project so they put it here so one can easily read about the project down here and then this is oh, oh what is that so this is um remember this using solana is just an example i'm just using this this as an example you can always go to you can make the same style to check about other projects but i just choose one project so we should just use one project to talk about so that you guys can understand the whole thing how it's going to be so this down here they talk brief about the whole project and what it's all about so you can always if you just want to go like fast fast 
research, you just want to know what the prayer is all about, does it really worth it before you start reading a long article so you can just brief yourself. So the brief things here about prayer. So that is it. It's just as simple as that. If someone tell you what is deep, where well, it's also project is it's good. Just okay, Ethereum. Ah, okay, Ethereum is good also. So you just check it like that, then you search for it and then you are okay. So that is that is it. The same thing goes, okay. I've talked about this website before. So the same thing goes with coin gecko. When someone mentioned coin, if you don't use it's a choice. If you don't like coin market cap, you can come on coin gecko and search for the coin also. Someone mentioned maybe USDT. What is USDT? So you just click on it and research for it. So once you do the research, you read about it. One thing that I first do when I first enter cryptocurrency space, like when I start growing myself in this space, I just come on this website. I started checking each each project. I started checking the each project, checking what they are all about, their price, what makes them different. So going, checking on them, opening those things and going to their, to the brief place, uh, where they brief about them. So I read a few words about them then. You know, before you read up to 20, or up to this top 20, uh, this top 20, you will have no, almost like at least 10 to 20% about cryptocurrency. And wow, if you know that, what else do you need? All the other information will be coming to you because most of the things that you need to know, you will have get it from this by doing that. So you can check on so CoinGecko or use CoinMarketCap for. So that is um that is that about CoinMarketCap and uh, CoinGecko. So I also fundamentally know good cryptocurrency that worth investing into. You know, after knowing cryptocurrency and blockchain and the wallets, you know, I told you, someone will mention coin or you will hear about coin, then you'll be like, what is the coin about? Sorry, I want to take water. Um, so you'll be like, what is the coin about? Then that is when you need to just, or which exchange, which exchange can I see it? So that's when you need to go and check coin, uh, coin gecko and coin market cap. So out of fundamentally no good cryptocurrency that worth investing into. This also and the price speculation, well, I'll talk about these two together. I'll talk about those two together. Mm -mm. Okay, so I think okay, it would be good if I go back to the Solana something. So because we are already diving into that already to make it more easier. And uh, let me use CoinGecko this time. It, they are almost the same thing. They give you almost the same information. It's just about how much you like them and which one is more suitable for you. So now look at CoinGecko. Remember I told you when you want to read about the project, you go to their website, you read their white paper, their medium, you read about the project, you go into their groups, the Telegram, Twitter, to read about the project. So that's just it. That's it. So then let's say we go to on the website. If you want to know which player what's investing is after checking the, the market cap, some projects will not have huge market market cap like this, and they will still be okay to invest into. So you just need that is when you need to read about the project. Coin gecko don't okay, they do. I I want to check coin gecko don't put uh, enough words here to read about this project. So you can check that on CoinMarketCap or come to their website, come to their website to read about the project. So check the website, what is this project all about? Solana is a fast, secure and censorship resistance blockchain providing the open infrastructure required for global adoption, wow. So this, and uh, it does anything new have any other project built this kind of thing before? That is the question you need to just ask yourself. And if there's another project that have done it before, how good did they do it? Like how good is the project that they created? Does it really worth it? Have things like this been existing before? How well are people talking about this present project? And you know what? If any new project just come up and 
you know a lot of people have not been really talking about it but you you are one of the people that first find it and it's really worth it trust me that's that could be a breakthrough that could be a good project for you to invest into because uh, it could be a good uh, for example let me find I, uh, uh, there's one that i really okay i see you drop i shouldn't be talking about this platform but let me do that for the sake of this for the sake of all of us so now look at this project this platform icodrop.com it's a platform for a new project that are just coming up like they are, this place i don't know how they do it they just advertise about new projects that are just come let me go to their own web or own page so you see active ico you can see this all this ico upcoming ico and ICO, ICO that they have done the sales when people are buying coin, new players are just coming up and all that. So I was able to buy from this platform to buy flow. I was also I also participated in the flow sales last year. Last year. So you can see token sales end. 6th october 2020 so i participated i participated in this project and i invested one thousand dollar in it and look at what happened is that after what really make me invest into this project is that flow is a new generation built a new blockchain built for the next generation of app game and digital assets to uh, that power them okay that power them so this is not new Projects have been building this before. So what's really make, they don't just explain their this thing very well. Then when you go to their website, their web paper, check their groups and their social media, then also check on the their team. Check the team. Uh this is not fully, but I will I just wish this can be. I don't know how to zoom it. I don't know how to zoom it. So this guy you are looking at here, this guy have been is have been into uh, cryptocurrency space and also programming for a while. Why I was still learning about cryptocurrency, I there's something that happened to Ethereum blockchain. Then Ethereum blockchain is the first uh, blockchain that uh, allow other projects to build on their platform. So this project, app, this guy built a project. He's also part of the team that built a project and then the project once the project when the project gets on ethereum blockchain ethereum blockchain was messed up then Ethereum blockchain was messed up so now the guy came back and said he wants to build his own blockchain because ethereum blockchain could not help them and what is this what does this mean is that the project was a crypto kitty we call we call it crypto kitty and each crypto kitty was sold for thousands of dollars like thousands millions of dollars so for the project that can be selling that kind of all this crypto kit and uh, what is crypto kit itself crypto kit is like a cat crypto kit is a cat they are digital cats they are meant for gamer and all this thing. So there is a way they okay. I missed I missed spell the name. So look at it. 86% like okay. These are crypto kitty. This is this is what they look like. Did you just this photo? You buy them and you will there's a way you'll be breeding them and all this. Thing. So like this video, okay. And they are very cost. All these things you are looking at, they are very cost. So when they built them on Ethereum blockchain, then everything was messed up, like seriously messed up. So Ethereum blockchain was low, and we are like, ah, only cats destroy a blockchain like this. So now the guy that invested in invented this thing now came back and built their own blockchain, which is called Flow. You know, that kind of thing, I was like, oh, this is a good fundamental for these guys to come back that they want to build their own blockchain too. So this thing really means something. Then after building their blockchain and investment and all that, so look at what the coin cost now. This coin, then we bought each of it. 
$1,000 worth of it was um, 10,000. So they gave us 10,000 of this coin. And now this is what it look like. Where is this? Okay, yeah. So this is what the coin cost now, $10. Ten dollar. It was um. It have reached. Let me search for it on. Is it is it on Coin Market Cap? Blue. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, look at it. So that is, and it have reached um. I think thirteen dollar or so. We don't need to. We don't need to care about that. So it have went up. It's at ten dollar now. We bought this thing for very cheap price, at a very cheap price, because we quickly get to know what the blockchain is, what the project is all about. I was able to know what the project is all about. So now, that is a huge amount of. That is a huge profit for anyone that invested into it. Then zero point one. We bought at zero point one, and now it's ten dollar. Ten there. $10. So $10 times 10,000 of this coin, that is a huge amount of money, a huge uh, return, on, return on investment. So now, how to do this kind of research? You have to get to know the project itself. You have to research, read, do some reading, read the white paper. Remember, I told you about reading their website, check the website, check the team, the project team. Where are the team? The project team, what they want to push to us, like what are they all about? The documentation, the adoption, equally adoption, we don't need it. We can just check anything that needs to be checked on this platform. Check anything that needs to be checked on the platform. Their partnership, their partnership. So you can see all the cards in the crypto kitty that did that in them. So their partnership features and other. So do every research you need to do about them. And also when it comes to the team, be sure that the team, this is the guy I'm talking about the other time. So all these guys, they, they really do something there. And they are still building. So now you check about those guys, these guys, you check their platform, check them on, uh, maybe on, let me, okay, start on Google. So you check them on social media, you want to know about them, you want to know what they are into, what they are into. Are they just one random guy that used to do Carpenter before, but now see that there's money in cryptocurrency now, the guy employs some programmer to program something for him. And so you want to know about them, you have to do research about those guys, what they are into, and also, the more one of the most important things they are seat the CTO chief uh, technology uh, technology officer need to research about him also because this is the guy behind the test the guy that know about that give them your advice about what they are building and all that so you need to research about him what is all really into is he do have the guy really built anything before Founder and CTO of Crypto Kitty, so you can see. <laughs> so, have the guy really built anything before? What? How does the thing that uh, things he have built before the project that built before? How does it work and all that? So, if the project really don't did well, then so you can say okay, you want to. And also all this thing you've seen down there, down here, you have to research it. All these people, you need to know if they are real or not, if they are real people or not, or maybe they just bring random people's uh, information and put it here. You need to know if these people really know about all these things truly. So you don't want to be scammed. Truly, if you invest, they can give you the coin, but it, what if they don't do anything again? They just take your money and then give you one worthless coin. So you need to research if they will really work on what they say they are going to work on. So that is why we need to check about the team, we check about the projects. We don't need to search all of them, but those all these guys at the top, at least all these guys at the top, you need to know what they are really into, what the uh, information about them. So especially these three guys up here, these three guys up here. In fact, me, I go to this and I check on at least six or few more number of them. So I want to know what they are really into and then what the project itself is really into. 
is this guy really active? Like, how often does he talk about his project? How often does he talk about his project? And so, what is the project himself? It's all about. So, you should just check anything checkable about the project. Solana, the same thing goes with Solana also. So, Solana also came uh, not quite long. Solana came in not quite long. You check about the project, check about where is the team. Uh, okay, I know that. I think I, I know that offered. I can just type it if I don't know where it is on the. the do I get that now? Okay, I made a mistake there. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Why am I not getting it now? Um, okay, I think it's, is it IO or? Let me check, I think it's IO. Uh, so you check the team, check the guys behind the project, what is all about, I'm closing all this. So let's, okay, we have talked about wallet already, so we don't need that again. So this is not correct. I made a mistake. So it should be dot com. But I don't know why I, I don't I'm not getting the same information. I'm the it's error from me though. It's not from the website. It's error from me. I supposed to know this. I'm one of their team, one of their uh, community manager. Yes, one of their community manager. So I'm supposed to know this. So you check the team, you check the information about them and all that. So for you to know more about the project, for you to know more about it, probably I will see it here. Uh, so these are the guys behind the project. This is the CEO, the office, the CEO. And so then I really try when it comes to sharing information to the people about their platform. If you really want to invest in this kind of project for a long time, you want to buy it and hold for a long time, you want to, so there's a way you can even know which if uh, like they try to explain things with a, I think, okay, podcasts. They, they try to explain things even with audio. So you can check their podcast and listen to things they are all about and, uh, so they even made this podcast and the CEO himself is the one that undo the he undo that himself. So the CEO will be talking, you'll be listening to him. He will be telling you what he really is uh, what is really building. So look at it. So this is the podcast. So in case you don't like reading, 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 so you just come to this podcast. They have the present one is 35 so you can go from one like view all episode go from one and read as in listening to up to and they are few few minutes or so so 55 minutes so it's not really much for something you want to invest some money into and for it as in and make some money so you need to spend some time and do research about it so this thing really worth it so not all projects are like this, but because I know about this, about Solana, so that's why I bring you here. So some projects, most of the projects, you just have to read about them on social, uh, on the platform, read about them from the white paper. So that is how to fundamentally know which coin worth investing into. And um, uh, forecasting and uh, speculating about projects and other. So that one, let me see if I can get a chart. I need a chart. I'm, do, I'm not really good at line. Is there where I can get a chart, a chart, a chart, a chart? I'm not really good at line. I can't use this. I can't use that. Uh, okay. So 
speculating, you know, after doing all this research that I'm talking about, people will just come up with uh, uh, this coin will reach $50 tomorrow. It will reach so so dollar tomorrow. The day after, it will reach so so dollar by next year. Like, you know, some people will be telling you that Bitcoin will reach $100, $1 million in the next. So all this research and deep thinking, open mind, being open-minded and all that. So those are the things that they are making use of. They just research them and all this deep thinking and all that. So with some more, so some chat reading, some people draw their charts. So, and um, on this, on this, at uh, this point, I put, um, where is this thing? Okay. So if you don't have Binance account, you can create Binance account with this. You are looking down here. You can create Binance accounts with this. You will be needing exchange. At least we want to buy and sell coin. So these are one of the, this is one of the platform that you want to buy and sell from. So Binance is a leading cryptocurrency exchange. Well, it is also, it is, it is, it, it can easily be say, I can easily say that it is the central bank of, cryptocurrency for now cryptocurrency is decentralized at least most of the cryptocurrency we have in the world they are decentralized no body is controlling them and they are free to use by anyone in the world but people channel their energy on more on some of them than one another so binance is the platform that people are using most to trade their cryptocurrency. That's why they are leading cryptocurrency exchange for now. So you can create your account with this, my referral link down here. So for you to have Binance account and uh, my Binance account. So I want to share that for you. So people will just analyze some coin and be like, oh, this coin is going up. If you go to so, so a month, this is my future trading account. So they will analyze the coin. I'm like, oh, this coin once it breaks so so amount, it will go up, or they do fundamental or technical, they do some random research and all that, and tell you this coin is going to so surprise. That is speculating. So you don't want to base your own research on that alone. You want to work with your own research, you want to know how to do those research they are, research they are doing. So before you say, okay. It's worth it or it doesn't worth it. So that is why you need to know how to use coin market cap. That's why you need to know how to use coin market cap and coin gecko as well. So when people say hey, it's going, it's going up, it's going to the surprise, they are just talking out of their own research. They are talking because of the research they have done. They are talking because of the research they have done. So moving to the next. Page uh, introduction to crypto trading. Okay, cryptocurrency trading is also known as Bitcoin trading. Okay, also known as Bitcoin trading is a popular market that have been growing in recent years. There are many who obtain Bitcoin to hold for a long time of a long period of time. However, many people. Many people trade, uh, trade their Bitcoin regularly with interrange strategy, day trading, leverage trading, and more. Oftentimes, trading can be sometimes confusing, and there are many things to consider when participating in the exchange environment. So many things need to be considered. So let me see. I think there's some more. Okay, introduction to cryptocurrency and blockchain trading charts. Okay, we will talk about this part, introduction to cryptocurrency trading. We will talk about it with this. So set up your tap trader if you are using phone. At least with tap trader, you will need to you will need Binance account also. This link you are looking at here is a, a video, a YouTube link. I create a YouTube link, a YouTube video. For, to make it easier for you to connect your tap trader to your Binance account, to your Binance account to your tap trader. So you can easily read a chart using 
a top trader on phone than on Binance. But if you are not, if we if you are using your laptop, then you can also you can use your Binance like that, the way it is. So, and how do you how will you do that? Let me show you. Let me show you. So you need to when you open your chart, this is what you find. This Binance account, Binance chart itself. This Binance chart itself. So you will have to put it on trading view if you really want to read a chart, a, a read chart. So you need to put it on trading view like this. All these things that I draw, let me hide them so that I want to convince you. So look at this, uh, then you can read this. This is a chart, this is how it looks like. Let me go to home screen. When you first come to the chart, this is what the platform looks like. This is what plan. once you created the account, you can so blah, blah. All the coin you can trade them, all the coin that you can trade the market. This is the market. This is the market. So this is the market, Bitcoin, BI. I don't know what this is. USDT BI. I don't know. What is all this now? Uh, I don't think I have favorite. Okay. I'm not sure where all this thing came from, but I just put it that way. So look at this Solana, BUSD, Nigeria money, and uh, throw USDT, BUSD. So these are the coin, like there are so many thousands of them on this platform. So you can choose where uh, anyone you want to trade. And then, and so also you can buy coin with your Visa or MasterCard using this. P2P trading, if you know how to do P2P trading also, this class is not covering for all this. But if you are find this, using these two difficult, you can always send me a message on WhatsApp or Telegram. You can also easily search for me on uh, social media in case you forget my name or you forget my number, you can easily search for me. Um, my name is Rich, uh, Rich Prince Ola. If you search for reference or that, you will find all my information. So you can easily find me. This is me. This is not me. So this, this is not me. Yeah, this is me. So <laughs> I love this guy, Elie Mark. So this is me, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, Facebook accounts, my trading view accounts, my Telegram. So you can just click on any of these. Just tell me you want to sell. Or you want to buy so, so, so coin, so I will respond to you as soon as possible. I will respond to you as soon as possible. I like, I like my customer. So come and say coin to me. So this is how the platform look like. You can come to this side, your wallet, uh, wallet, the deposit. In case you have the coin already, you want to transfer to this platform, you can come to your wallet, click on deposit. And then the coin you want to deposit, and blah, blah, blah. so you can go that way. Deposit cash, no, you are not depositing, you are depositing. So you click on here, the coin. Which is Bitcoin, you choose on Bitcoin. If it is other coin, you choose on them, and then copy the wallet address. And then send the coin into this platform in here with this, or you can scan this. Once you do that, the coin will get into this platform. But also there are some coins that need memo, like uh, BNB, for example. Please enter both memo and address data, which are required to deposit BNB mainnet token to your Binance account. So you should make sure you, you notice this. This is the wallet address and this is the memo. Some coin require it. So you should make sure you read your screen very well. I always say this to people, read your screen very well. EOS also need memo. There are some coins, like different coins like that, that require you to input some memo. So you need to make sure you read your screen before doing interaction. If you send the coin into this address alone without the memo, it will, the coin we send, you will be able to send the coin, but it will not reflect on, the, on this platform. So you will need to send message to the platform support team to help you out on that. So that is the issue. And that may that will be taking some time. If you really need your coin within a few seconds, you'll be using like minutes chatting with the team on how they can help you on it. So you need to be careful 
on that part. So to so withdraw also is not really hard. If you want to withdraw a coin, you click on withdraw. Which coin do you want to withdraw and all that? So you withdraw your coin. If it's Bitcoin, if it's Ethereum, any coin you want to withdraw. Which coin is this? So you can withdraw any coin you want to withdraw into your account, into your wallet address. So that is, uh, I think that is all, right? That is all about the wallet area. That's all. So what else do you mean? So the, this up here are just nails, the nails. So this is the Binance. I asked you guys to register the other time. So this is how my own look like. So the next page is, okay, exchange is where you buy, sell, and uh, trade cryptocurrency with other digital programs. I said, okay, I think I remember what we need to talk about again now. Since to look, for when choosing cryptocurrency exchange, price, security, fee, payment, and UIUX. Okay, so now let's talk, let's let go more in into some other things that you need to read, uh, that you need to understand about, uh, about exchange, about cryptocurrency exchange when choosing one. <coughs> Sorry, yes. Yeah. Security, in terms of security, this platform is very secure. You can see my, my uh, email, they, they, they ask some place in it so that you guys will not see it. My wallet address, I'm only allowing you guys to see it because I want to, I can decide to hide it and you will not be able to see my balance. So most exchange have this also, but it doesn't mean. And also this price you are looking at here, they are different from one another. It can be cheap here and cost some that in some other platform. Me as a trader, I don't care about this. What I care about is that if I buy here, I make sure I sell here. I don't go to another platform to sell it. So even sending it around, sending coin from one exchange to another can also cost some fee. And I want to, I don't want to go through that. So I would like to buy here and sell here. And also, since how much is it different? The different are not really most, but people are making money with that also. Some people will buy a bunch of coin, thousands or millions of coin from one exchange and send to another exchange because of different, a bit, a little different. Maybe the coin is 68.95 in another exchange and it's 68.98 here. So they can just or 70, let's say 75. Okay, it have turned to 69 now. So they can buy from other exchange and send to this platform and sell it. So if they buy like, let's say million of this coin or thousands of it, so they'll be making profit with the little change on each of it, they will be making profit with that. Some people do that very well. Trade. Trade, trade, trade. Let's use this as an example. Or oh, should I use this? Okay, let me use that. Let me use it. So trade, if you want to trade, how, how easy is it for is it to trade on this platform? Uh, well, not really hard. Not really hard. So I find it a bit easier to trade. I, this thing is there, the platform, the trading view, the charts, it's clear. Though all these abracadabra you are looking at on this chart, on this screen, can be a bit difficult for someone that is new to cryptocurrency space. But for me, it's easy because I'm used to it. You know, the more I believe something, there's nothing hard to use. So far you practice make perfect. When you keep using it, you get used to it. That's one thing I believe in. When you keep using it, you get used to it. And how to buy. If you are using Tab Trader on your phone, remember I told you how to tap, how to connect your Binance to your Tab Trader it will be a way more easier for you using tab trader it will be way more easier for you also downloading this website uh, wall uh, account they have an, a mobile phone application also so to use their mobile application it will be way more easier for you also to buy and sell but if you are using system 
which I believe using system also it will be more easier also. At least all this thing I've been doing since nobody teach me. I have to spend some time looking at the whole thing, running like going around all the uh, screen to understand all this thing you are looking at. So if you want to buy, let's say, okay, the limit, you can just click. Remember this is on buy over here. So the limit, you just drag this. I have $53 here, $53.8 USD here. So I want to buy this coin with uh, this, my 53, so I'm not using everything. So now if I'm dragging this, I drag it fully 100%. So you can see I have 53.8, this one that I'm having in my post here. Yeah, so that means if I click on buy, I'll be using all the 53.8 to buy this coin. And this will change. This you are looking at here will disappear. And then I'll be having the coin. So let's say I bought, I'm buying 25% now at the present price, 25%. Then if I click on buy, I'll buy the coin. You can see the other field. And then if you look at the trade history, trade history. So you can see I've bought the coin. And then if I click on sell, my 53, my 53 have changed to 40.5. That means I've used some of my money to buy the coin. And look at it, sell. For, I'm having 14.09 GRT. So that means this coin now, I've just bought this coin you are looking at. And that is what you are seeing down here. I just bought the coin. And then if you want to sell, you click on sell. You drag this, how many percent you want to sell or buy. If I put it fully, they will charge me some fee. So that's why I, okay, they don't charge fee. Okay, they charge fee, yes, they charge fee. So I'm be, I'll be selling all this, you just click on sell. And that's all, you sell, you have your money back. So 53.8, you can see it's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. So now I don't have, I only have zero points. Nine, let's see, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.094 GRT. So this is worthless, it doesn't, it's not really much. Like the dollar is very small. If I'm clicking on everything now, it might not even reflect anything, so you can see. But now I'm having my USD back. I'm having my USD back and GRT here, so that is it. It's as simple as that, you can see, and the history will be down here. I buy, I bought, and then I sold. So if you know how to read charts, you can read the chart with this. The present price is this you are looking at here. This can this chart candle you are looking at here is not staying, it's not stable. So as this price keeps changing, it will be reflecting in this middle. People that are selling are all this you are looking up here. People that are buying are all this you are looking down here. All this green, they are buying, and all these are selling. When people that are selling are more than people that are buying. That is when price go down. That is when price go down. And when people that are buying are more than people that are selling, that is when price go up. And knowing the trend, understanding the trend, I don't, I'm not sure if this is part of the class, but let's just talk about it. Understanding the trend, this is up trend. This up trend, like the price is going up, it's uptrend. This little down you are looking at here is downtrend. It beats a little downtrend. We cannot call this downtrend, but it's the, easy, the most easiest one I can see on the screen. Let me enlarge the screen so that we can see it. This time frame is too small. Let me put it on a bigger one. Okay, look at this. We have an uptrend here like this. This is an uptrend. The coin go up is an uptrend. The coin come down a downtrend. At this point, they call this area consolidating. It doesn't go up or down. It doesn't go up or down, consolidating. They also call it a sideways movement. Some people call it kangaroo movement. It go up, come down, go up, come down. So they call it kangaroo movement. Now we have downtrend here. Kangaroo movement, a consolidating, and then we have a breakout uptrend. We call it uptrend. 
it's not breakout it's not, the uptrend there the breakout is a trading was is a trader was so don't don't bother knowing that for now so uptrend and the uptrend a little pullback uptrend a bit a little pullback and then we run again so that is what trend is all about that is trend and um, what else do we need to talk about if you want to research any coin you can just click just come to this area over on it and then come here search for which coin you want to research on you want to talk about so you click on the coin or the coin you want to buy or sell so you click on the coin search for it so you can see uptrend a little pullback around so our indicators so that is all to that is all to know about uh markets so if anybody tell you that there is a coin and the coin is on this platform you can also come here click on this area search for the coin they say solana is here is it true so you can see so so they say bitcoin is here is it true it doesn't show bitcoin but i have to use the ticker what we call ticker is this btc you are looking at here means bitcoin let me show you something Let me show you something on coin gecko or on coin market cap you can use any of it that you want look at this these are the ticker of this of all this coin bitcoin is btc ethereum is eth theta is usdt cardona cardano is ada srp is srp but this thing have another name ripple so srp poker dot is dot Binance chain is BNB, Litecoin, LTC. Chain link is link. We have all of them like that. We have all of them like that. Oh, so Osama SRO, so we have them like that. Ethereum Classic TH, ETC, sorry. So Zilliqa, Zil, Torchain, Run. Is, it, is this Run or what? R U N E. So that is Tika. So, and this ticker are what exchange use when they list coin. They, you, they believe you have know the name already. So they believe you know the name. So they will just add the ticker and they want you to come and search for the ticker. So um, market. So Bitcoin. So you can see we have so many Bitcoin pair here. Also note that there is difference between spot market, future market, and the coin future ETF. They are different between all those ones. You should also remember that. So if you want to buy coin and hold it for a long time or for a while, this is the best part. This is the best place to use. Spot market is the best place to use. If you are holding, if you are, want to trade it like a forest trader, this is where to use. And also this one also. This, I don't know what this is all about, ETF. I don't know what it's all about. But these two futures you are looking at here, if you trade them, it means that you want to trade them like a forest trader. And what does it mean by a forest trader? Trading like forest trader is that you, are, you want to start, you want to use leverage. You want to use leverage. You using leverage when trading. If the trade goes in your favor, in your favor, then you are good. But if it goes against you, it will be very bad. You can say, I click on future here. So I want to show you something. I'm on some trade. So this is my future trade now. So if this trade go against me, if this trade go against me, I'll be losing money. Like you are seeing here, I'm having minus $73, $71. So that means this trade is going against me. But this is going in my favor. I am in profit. So this future trade, perpetual, perpetual futures. So 
if this trade goes in my favor, I'll be having more money. And I can I can sell it, take profit, I can sell it and take my money and withdraw to my bank account anytime I want it. I can, but this, I just have to leave this one for a while. I believe it will still go in my favor. So I don't have issue with it. There's no problem in that. So I can leave it, I can set my stop loss to take it out. I can, I can take the loss, but I'm not doing that. I believe, I know what I'm doing on this. So I'll just leave it this, I'll leave this, it, it will still go in my favor, but this, so, I just want what I'm trying to let us know here is that this this is futures. If I'm if I'm not if you buy coin on spot, if you buy coin on spot markets, on spot markets, yeah, the coin will be in your wallet. The coin will be in your wallet, yeah. So all this coin you are looking at here. They are in my wallet. I bought them on spot markets. I bought them on spot market. So that is why I'm having them there. But if you trade it on futures, you will not have them in your wallet. So you cannot hold coin you are having. So the same way people that are trading uh, forex cannot have the currency they are trading, the assets they are trading in their wallet. So it's the same way you are trading. That is what I mean by, uh, futures or perpetual trading or something so these two so you should decide on which one but we have a program coming up very soon it's have to do with um it's have to do it uh if you want to become a profitable trader so we will teach you how to do that we teach you how to do that Okay, so see this is a profitable trader with Prince Ola. So become a profitable trader with uh, with me. What is going on? So become a profitable trader with Prince Ola. Oh, it will only cost you hundred dollar, which is about forty seven thousand naira. If you are using Naira, and uh, the the program will be will be doing the program on Zoom and uh, WhatsApp. We using WhatsApp and Zoom for the program. It will start on 15 of February, so it will take four weeks. In fact, it will take only three weeks. But the remaining one week, we'll be using that for a practical. Actually, the practical continue forever because it's come with mentorship. It's come with mentorship, so um we will be starting from intermediate to masters to master level so all the things you are going to learn from the program what and the most interesting one is the bonus how to get zero liquidation on future trade our trading strategy what's happened to this thing okay so it's back our, our trading strategy plus free powerful indicators to keep your winnings constant. So how to start a cryptocurrency with zero cobble and still make money online. Free books that will help you train your, uh, train your trading mindset, right? So those one, the most interesting part of it, the bonus. So, but all these, if you pay, if you want to join the uh, join this program, so you can just make use of this down here. Um, I'm not saying that. Okay. So if you want to join the program, you can just use this down here. This is the program that we are doing now, so don't worry. Um, 
Okay, you can just remember I said that you can search for me on uh, YouTube, uh, Google. Just search for reprint solar so you will find me. So you can always send me a personal message if you want to join the program. On the the program is starting on the February 15. Okay, this is it again. So you can join with this bit dot uh, bit dot lee slash po academy trading program so you can join with this you are looking down here um going forward going forward uh, in fact i don't even expect us to come here so where we are where we are okay we have we are true with this So introduction to Japanese candle. Oh, okay. Introduction to Japanese candle and uh, understand the trend. We have talked about this before. You know, I remember. I remember I told you a up an uptrend and a downtrend. So bullish is an uptrend price action that increase the coin price. When coin is going up, that is bullish. And when it's coming down, that is bearish. However, note that. Your uptrend is not always going to be full of greens, green candles alone. It is a mixture of green and red something. Sometimes the same applies to the downtrend. When coin is going downtrend, when coin is going downtrend, where is the chart? Uh, where is my Binance? Okay, Binance. When coin is going down trend, you can see it's coming down. There are some green coming down, green, 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 go up a bit, come down again. So that is how it's always it's always be. The price will be mixed. And look at this small area where the price is going up. It goes up some red, goes up some red, goes up red, goes up red, goes up. So that is this small part is bullish small bullish <coughs> sorry and big this big one is bearish this big one is bearish this small part we are looking at is consolidating i talk about this consolidating the other time so consolidating this small part so bearish is going up bearish so that is bearish and uh, can do about can do japanese can do this you are looking at is not Japanese country. This you are looking at is not Japanese country. This is a uh, alo. Is it alo or something? I change the prop. I change the country to alo because that is what I I find it more interesting to use. Okay. Olo. They call it olo. Though this is normal country. This is what normal country look like. This is what my can look like. So this is candle, and this is they call it Japanese candle. It was invent, it was invented by one Japanese guy like that. So that is why they call it Japanese candles. And uh, so there are different type of ways to read charts. One of them is uh, by using candle. Yeah, we have a caching, we have bar, we have bar, you can see the bar, we have a candle, yeah, we have high uh, holo candle. I love I like this holo candle. I just choose it. I love I used candle before, but I just choose this uh holo candle yesterday. A caching. I don't I I like this one also, but I don't know how to use it. I find it difficult to use line. I don't use line. So we have areas also. Some people are using all this baseline. Some people are using all this also. I'm not using them. I'm not good at it. So I'm going back to my Olu. Olu, Olu. So this is it. Um, so back to there. And um, going back, going back, going back. So that is a. Uh, we have talked about this already. So this candle, a candlestick. Okay, a candlestick chart is the most common chart used in used to technicalize 
technically uh, technically analyze and predict cryptocurrency price movement they use candlestick in the stock market and the forest market also so now we are now using it in cryptocurrency also this uh, the chart is used in many other markets like i told you like forest trading and stock as well candlestick uh, okay image we don't so i've done that I've done that. So, okay, there's one information I want to share with us about the candle, about the candles, I mean. Each, each of them, look at this time, 15 minutes time. We can change it to 30, we can change it to 30 minutes, we can change it to one hour. In fact, we can change it to one day. And one month, one week, one month, and any hour we want it to be. So that is, that is it. So look at that, like as that is, that look like, like that. So this is, um, each, each of this can do on this one day now, one D, one D means one day, this three D means three days. If I put it on one each, one hour, two hours, four, six, eight, 12 hours. So now we are on one D, one day. Each, each of this can do means, one one day now you get like that each, each of them means one day so for this coin if as an how will i say it okay if we pack like four or five of this candle together now that means four days for four four candles means four days five means five days so if i'm on one ish one of it means one hour and then look at this present one that is still that is still growing and going up and down. This is yet to be complete. So this is still uncompleted uh, candle. We cannot really say this is where it's going to, but we can use this previous one. We can use these previous candles to predict what is going to happen here. That is how people predict the market. We can use what is going on here, what have happened here to predict what is going to happen here. So that's how people predict the market using candle. Remember, you can join our upcoming program, become a profitable trader with Prince Ola to become, if you want to learn how to trade properly, how to trade the market properly. So things, information more information about the market how to buy and sell how to buy at a good entry at a good price and then come out with good profit how to do technical drawing fundamental analysis how to train your mind like a trader the way traders think is different from how other people that are not a trader how they think so there are ways that we see things that other people are not saying it. So we, and those things are very, very important to understand and they want learning also. So that is where we have, we have psychological analysis aside from fundamental technical analysis. So that's why we have fundamental uh, psychological analysis. Risk management, free trading journal. Okay, we have free trade, free trade journal is coming with this risk management. We, we, we're giving you free trading journal. You will have to print that out. So as you are trading, you will be knowing how much you are using to trade and how much you are making. We treat trade like a business. We treat trade like a business. So even if you are not working, whether you are a working class or not, we will teach you how to trade and be making profit. And you will be your own boss if you want to. So you'll be making good profit. So that's all thing, all the information that you need will be teach, will be, uh, will be handling everything in the class. It only costs hundred dollars, like I said. This price you are looking up here. I know some people will still come to my PR and be like, Prince, please help us to reduce this price. Please, this price you are looking up here is the most. I think if not, if I'm not on the top ten, I will be the only person that is collecting lesser money in this space in the cryptocurrency space that charge less for teaching people how to trade cryptocurrency. And this can go up tomorrow. 
or go down. It depends on the kind of mode that I am I'm into. So this present price now is just a normal price for me. And the reason why we keep it this low is because we believe that we spend so much time to learn all these things and bring them together also. So we spend time, spent so many on sleep, uh, sleepless nights and uh, data mentorship and all that that we get from people. So giving it out with the, for this price is, is very cheap. It's a very cheap price. And we believe the reason why we did it that, like that way is because we believe that so people find it difficult. Not everybody will have money to learn something that will give them future. But everybody wants to have future. So we decided to make it this simple. And also even the US dollar rate is not fixed, but we try to fix it to 470. Presently now, I think dollar is around 480 something. So even with this hundred dollar now, if you are not paying with dollar, if you are paying with naira, you will still be having some change with you, which you're supposed to at least add for us also. So you see how we do it like that. So dollar keep appreciating against uh, naira. So if if you are in Nigeria, you want to pay with naira. So this is still a bonus for you also. If you are paying with dollar, you are still paying less compared to what other people are charging. Too much war don't fool a basket. So if you would like to join us, use this link. You are looking down here to join us. If you click on this, if you use this link, copy this link, you can type it somewhere to, uh, you can type somewhere or screenshot this thing and then feed, it is a form, it is a Google form. So you feed the form and then there's a place there that you need to still send me a message on WhatsApp. So if you click on that, they will say, we draft a message there for you. So make sure you read the message before you send it. Don't just send message. It have to do with payments. So don't just send it. Read it first before you send it. So we'll be adding you to our uh, group. We have a private group for the program. So we'll be adding you to the, to the group after payment is done. So thank you guys and uh, do have a nice time. And I hope this thing really help you in your, um, it will really help you in your cryptocurrency journey. I hope it help you in your cryptocurrency journey. So thank you. My name remains Prisola. Bye.